What's good boys today? Welcome back to the Vancouver Canucks franchise mode here on NHL 23. Today we are seeing how far we can take the Canucks and if they'll be a playoff team. Like, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff and uh, let's just get into this. So it's the 1st of December and we are sitting at 10, 10 and 3. Like the Canucks in real life, we are mid as hell. So obviously we're looking for a second line center, but that hasn't happened yet. So we're going to keep this going. Our first line is doing absolutely horrible. So we need to fix that. I think I'm going to take the hit on chemistry, move Ilya Mikheyev up to the first line, move Kuzmenko down because Kuzmenko and Pedersen don't seem like they're working. 8-6 to six is a crazy game for one, but two, I'm pissed about that Vegas game. Let's go try and beat up on Arizona. Oh, Miller up front. Oh, what a save. And that's the end of the first period. That might have been the most boring period of hockey I've ever played. Oh my, that went in? Are you serious, EA? Bang, let's go. Connor Garland back on the first line and that's a goal. Oh my, Jake McBain comes back and we are down 2-1 off that. Oh my god, 3 on 0 and they score. Oh my god, we're actually going to lose to Arizona. So this is basically the end of the second period, but for those who don't know, I am shit at NHL. I am horrible at this game. So the point of this series is to try and make the best team possible, so then maybe I'll have a chance at winning, but that's the end of the second. We are getting blown out by Arizona. I am an idiot and I forgot to press record in the third, so uh, we just got a penalty. I absolutely- And I can't even show you guys. Oh, Hoglander's in. And of course, he somehow gets that stupid game, bro. Are you, how did Tyler Myers get bodied like that? Oh my god, Tyler Myers just sent that kid flying. Holy. Oh, Pud Coles is in. Vasily Pud Coles in. Let's go! Oh, let's go! Quinn Hughes, the comeback! And that is the end of the third. What a comeback by your Vancouver Canucks. And we are going into overtime. Overtime is here, ladies and gentlemen. There's no ladies. But let's get into this. Oh my god, Nick Schmaltz just got killed, but they got a two-on-one Keller. What a save by Demko. Philip Heronik in the offensive zone. Hopefully we can set something up here. Heronik. Down low, JT Miller, Miller, wait, Miller back for Heronik, Heronik at the point, down for Pedersen, Pedersen and Heronik switch, Heronik in front, JT Miller, what a save by Majel, whatever, <laughs> I messed up his name, oh that's a break, Kuzmenko in, I'm stuck with righties, oh what a try by Kuzmenko, and Blue just got it, back for Kuzmenko, oh what a save by Vajelmika. Dude, am I having a stroke reading a goalie's name? Like, I know who he is. He literally shut out the Jets, like, every single year of his life. But I just can't say his name! Let's get the puck in the hands of our best players. Quinn Hughes! Cosmega! The first episode. Very boring gameplay. That is elite gameplay, and I think I've found the sauce. We just have to play the worst teams in the league. Merry Christmas, everybody, and Happy Hanukkah to all my Jewish friends out there. Today is the 25th, and we are 16, 13, and 4. We're just stopping here to do a quick check, check up around the league, as we've been simulating quite a bit, and this second line and third line cannot get it right. I guess it's not a Merry Christmas for us, as JT Miller has reportedly been put on the trade block. Like, why? Why did JT request a trade? And turns out he may request a trade at the end of this season if he doesn't get first line ice time past the trade deadline. Safe to say we have our hands full, but hopefully we can get that second line center. Despite the JT Miller trade request, uh, let's just check out some stats as JT Miller. It makes sense. He's been playing awful. Also, just a side note as we look at some stats in the background here, like... What do you guys like, the fast-paced content or the slow-paced content? Because, like, in FIFA and stuff, nobody or nobody does, like, this slow, really, content. They all do the fast-paced, whereas NHL is completely the opposite. 
So I'm trying to find a good balance between that. So let me know what you guys think. We are dealing with these JT Miller trade requests. Tucker Pullman has also requested a trade as he says making two mil he does not want to play in the AHL. Adol Kraken offered me this trade. However, it was with a second, but Tucker Pullman's not getting a second. He was great for the Jets. He's not getting a second. However, a, a Tucker Pullman who is at mad in the AHL to move up two rounds in this year's draft, I think it's a good trade and let's accept it. Very bad news as our boy Elias Pettersson has been injured, which means Dakota Joshua is gonna have to come into the lineup. This injury was only for a week, however, we did kind of fall back to reality after this. So when we get into NHL 24, our franchise will have more gameplay included. But for now, we have to speed through things. So we see him the whole month of January and the Canucks are rolling right now. Now I was gonna play another game in February. However, all I know all of you guys just wanna see who we trade for at the deadline. So we'll just get there right now. So we are one day before the trade let deadline and the Vancouver Canucks are on fire. We are right now in a playoff spot and look at Hughes and Pedersen going crazy. I was actually thinking of trading Kuzmenko, but I mean, he's having a really good year. All these guys are. JT Miller is kind of slacking off though. You guys remember earlier in the video, JT Miller requested a trade if we don't get a second line center, which is why for this trade deadline, we are going to be a conservative buyer and welcome to the 2024 NHL trade deadline. Here are our top 10 free agents available, Jared Spurgeon and Jonas Brodeen from the Minnesota Wild, Tanav and Nazem Kadri from the Calgary Flames, Varlama from the Islanders, Trishan Jari from the Penguins, Zuccarello also from the Wild, Tom Wilson, Braden Shen, and Perenko from the Blues. Oh, 14 minutes into the day and apparently Drew Doughty just got added to the trade block, okay. So the first trade we see here that could be made is Anthony Beauvillier and a third to Chicago for Jonathan Taves. And the next one, we'd have to give up a little bit more. Ethan Bears on the last year of his deal. Don't know if we want to extend him yet. And a third round pick, but for Adam Henrique. I think we're going to try the Jonathan Taves one first. He's a one year rental and he has a gold X factor, whereas Adam Henrique has a silver and they're only one year apart, so it doesn't make too much of a difference. So let's submit this first offer here and trade is rejected. I feel like we could try something like this. Yermo probably won't be a big player in this series because it's going to move pretty fast. So I'm thinking we try and dump him off. Jonathan Taves, he, we could re-sign him. Hopefully he'll be good for this year as well. And he won't affect that Pedersen contract coming up. So I'm gonna offer this to Chicago and they say yes. Jonathan Taves is now a Chicago Blackhawk. Let's check this out. Anthony Beauvillier and one of our, if not our best defenseman prospect for an aging veteran center. However, we completed JT Miller's objective, so we don't have to trade him. So here is the new look Vancouver Canucks. JT Miller now playing on that first line with Pedersen and Besser, Connor Garland, Jonathan Taves, and Kuzmenko is the new second line. Our bottom six is looking much better. It's the 2024 NHL trade deadline. Victor Arvidsson, John Klingberg, Justin Falk, Gabe Velarde got moved. There's quite a few moves here. Blake Wheeler, Ryan McDonough, Ryan Strom. There's our trade. Matt Zuccarello for Chaz Lucius though is the biggest trade of the day. Over to the Winnipeg Jets now, they are looking scary. Kyle Connor, Mark Shifley, and Matt Zuccarello, Niederreiter, Dubois, and Ehlers. This team is stacked and I love to see it. The Montreal Canadiens here now have Philip Deneau on their second line. Seattle Kraken all of a sudden are looking dangerous with Bjorkstrand, Everly, Arvidsson, and Daniel Sprong on that right side. I haven't even checked this, but the A's last year for the Canucks were Pedersen, Miller, and Ekman Larson. Next year, this is going to change to Quinn Hughes, but it is time for number 20, Jonathan Taves' debut as a Vancouver Canuck. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to 
Vancouver, Canada to take on the Toronto Maple Leafs. We have Jonathan Taves here taking the draw. This is crazy right now. Austin Matthews, John Tavares, and Mitch Marner are all on the same line here in Toronto. What is happening? Oh, JT Miller's in here. JT Miller to the front of the net. Oh, what a save on Pedersen by Samsonov. And there he is, Jonathan Taves, first game since being traded, and he's on the ice right now. Oh, David Kempf is in. Are you kidding me? And Toronto strikes first. Taves across the line. Jonathan Taves shoots. That's not that bad, you know? Oh, Quinn Hughes is in. Quinn Hughes all the way. Oh, what a save by Samsonov. And that is the end of the first period. David Kemp has broke the ice and it's 1-0 Toronto. I wasn't even recording that whole second period. You've actually got to be joking me. I pressed record before this game. But anyways, Mark Giordano absolutely destroys Ian Cole. So then, so then there was this hit by Timothy Liljegren. I can't believe this stopped recording, but this was an insane hit by Quinn Hughes. Matthews almost scores. Then Pedersen comes up the ice, dangles around whoever that is, Riley, feeds it to Kuzmenko. That was one of the greatest moments of the series. And because of Sony, EA Sports is even better than Sony, honestly. Because of Sony, we didn't get to see one of the greatest calls in the history of YouTube. So it is unfortunate that this period was insane and we missed it, but it's fine. We'll live. Oh my god, what a block by Ethan Bear. David Kemp, if he scored. Oh my god, Matthews just almost scored that. That was atrocious defense from me but it somehow didn't end up in the back of the net. Oh my God, Tavares just toe dragged Hughes. Tavares in, what a save, Thatcher Demko. And that is the end of the second period. We almost conceded there, but Thatcher Demko is playing on his head right now. We are getting absolutely destroyed. Oh, Brock Besser, what a pass, Kuzmenko. Oh my God, Kuzmenko back to Brock Besser. Oh, we were so close to taking the lead there. How? How did that go in? Noel Achari. And we are down two to one. Sit down, Noel Achari. I was about to swear. Screw you. Oh my David Kempf again? Oh my god. This third line is absolutely cooking us right now. We have allowed four goals to this same line. Are you serious, EA? Oh my god! Yeah! Woo! Okay, we are calling a timeout here. We are pulling our goalie. Uh, this is exactly what happened against Vegas, so we are probably going to lose. But we did score the nicest goals of the series, so that, that's that's a good thing. OEL entering the zone. OEL to Besser. Besser gets absolutely laid out, and it was there for Kuzmenko, who's all about to get his hat trick. I'm telling you right now. Bunting, sit down, buddy. Oh my god, Noel Achari almost just scored again. If Noel Achari scored again, or David Kempf scores a hat trick, I'm going to be so mad. How did that happen? Bro! Is it just impossible for the CPU to score on an empty net, by the way? Okay, we got like five seconds and it's over. Oh my god, we just got absolutely destroyed by the Toronto Maple Leafs. So, that was one of the most frustrating, ga frustrating games I've ever played of Cho. But, it is time to answer the question. Will the Vancouver Canucks make the 2024 NHL playoffs? And that question will be answered in the next video so subscribe like and see you in the next one